Should roads ever lead you to Serbia, I know you will be greeted by some of the friendliest people and most amazing food. Community life is taken seriously around here, so perhaps that's why there is an endless stream of festivals, carnivals and community gatherings. So if you go, prepare yourself to say Zhivyama to local plum brandy called Shivavitsa and to dance Kola. If there is anything Serbs love more than good food and friends, it would be music and dancing. After some brandy and dancing, I wanted to talk to this young man who is partly responsible for organizing this community gathering. For a lot of young people uh, in America and around the world who have never been to Serbia or the Republic of Srpska, if they were to come and visit, can you tell us what are, what are the things they can expect to see? Yeah, uh, I had an honor to host people here from, I don't know, Kenya, South Korea, Belgium, Portugal and many other countries. Uh, so the. I don't know, the most interesting and the most beautiful things to see here is uh, good hospitality, nice people, good food and cheap life, I guess. Cheaper so life. Yeah, cheaper life than others. So people come here usually as backpackers and they travel and they and they and they're not afraid to go through the country and ask and knock on the door and ask anybody for for a for a bed, for a food. So everybody's really hostile, yeah. That's how we say it. So I would say good people. Safe. Safe. Yeah, yeah, definitely safe. There is no, uh, there is no pickpocketing, especially here in this Serbian part of Bosnia. So you can just walk around easily, have fun. You have rivers over here. You have, uh, as I said, nice people, food, food, of course. Serbians love cooking and every house has a really nice house vibe. That's, uh, Every house has a good food. Every house has a good food. I don't know, people socialize a lot here, so you can make friends easily and you can make good memories easily. We're going to try to join this party. I want to thank you for the interview. It was really nice to meet you. And if you don't mind, would you go and give us a little snippet of the meat just to try what it tastes like? Yeah, of course. Can we do yeah, that? Course. Okay. This one is nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. It looks it looks nice and greasy. I'm sure it's gonna be very good. Yeah, enjoy it. And thank thank you for coming one more time. Thank you, Aksha. One of the favorite Serbian foods are cevapi. I'm back in states and I want to show you how to make this delicious dish. There are a few variations to the recipe, but I'm starting with a pound of pork, lamb, and beef, a teaspoon of salt a quarter teaspoon of granulated garlic and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Last is one tablespoon of cold water. Mix the meats and spices well together and let them sit in the fridge for about an hour or maybe even two hours before you start rolling them. As you can see, I'm using cold water to prevent meat from sticking to the palms of my hand. Rest is really simple. What we're trying to do here is to create portions that are like sausage links, like a breakfast sausage links. And uh, once we have enough rolled out, we're going to go and grill it. And for grilling, you're going to need a medium high fire on a grill. The fire is absolutely crucial here because we need a nice hot grill to help seal the chivaptiches on outside and help them retain the moisture inside while they create this crunchy crust on outside. Grilling doesn't take very long and so once you're done keep them in a warm dish at a warm spot and we'll move on preparing the bread. There's a special type of bread that goes with chivaptici, which is called lepinha, and this is something I can't find around here, so I'm using regular pita bread. And to revive it and bring it back to life and to um, get the most flavor out of it, I just added a little bit of butter and touch of water so the bread can grill and uh, it can get moist once again. All that's left to do is to stuff the pita bread. 
Normally, uh, you would stuff it just with the raw onions and um, chivapchichi, but I'm going with a little bit of lettuce and tomato as well. And I will add the raw onions on the top. A touch of sour cream is another great suggestion. And uh, here I go with the onions and you can add as much as, as you like. So basically here you have it. This is a simple uh, Serbian traditional cheva. And now that they are done, I feel like going back to dancing. I hope you like the recipe, but more than that, I hope you will like and appreciate this way of a community life. In these busy times when family and community life is getting more and more disconnected, I think we all could use a little more festivals like this one because building strong families and communities should never go out of style. Thank you all for watching, and to find out more about my nonprofit work, please visit us at www.vladovi.com. Thank you!